What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 30 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. If you guys are enjoying the series so far, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, in episode 29, I ended uh, telling you guys I was going to go out, try and find uh, an Oranguru, Oranguru, uh, probably Oranguru, I feel like. So uh, I went into the lush jungle, and while I was in there, I found a comfy. Um, first while I was looking which is awesome it took me quite a few battles I think they're kind of rare but I did I eventually found a comfy which I caught shortly after that I caught a, a pincer which I mean that's an old Pokemon so that wasn't really all that important but then I saw a more lull and I ended up catching a more lull too and then after a long 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 time I did eventually find an Oranguru so uh, that's that's where we're at right now I went to the lush jungle expecting to just see a bunch of stuff I'd already seen before, but I did eventually catch an Oranguru. Uh, I still haven't evolved the Meowth. The Meowth remains in my party. Uh, I mentioned that I was going to try and get an Alolan Meowth uh, into an Alolan Persian, uh, but I'm not at the, I think, original Persian. I don't remember what level original Persian evolves. It's either 24, 26, or 28. It's one of those. I don't really remember, um, but I haven't quite gotten it. It hasn't evolved yet, so, uh, so that's where we're at presently um so i flew back to uh melee city and we're gonna turn in the side quest that we have completed we still still need to work on the alolan persian but we do have the uh oranguru which i'm looking at my notes here is actually in Kony Kony. it's not in uh it's not on this island at all so let's go back to Kony Kony. how about oh there we go yeah yes so that's it there's things here we couldn't figure out from the data foundation had collected. Thanks a lot. Here, this is for you, and it is 5,000 Poke Yen. Come on. They give me such incredible rewards for such easy to catch Pokemon, and then I spend 30 minutes trying to catch an Oranguru, and that's what they want to give me? I'm out here about to not help them anymore. They're going to have to. They're on their own. Aether Foundation, they're not. I'm going to do every side quest, I'm going to be honest. Everyone I can. So, currently, uh, uncompleted side quests. We're still, we're still working on the Alolan Persian. Everything else, at the moment, I believe, uh, we've got covered. So, we're going to continue down to Route 11, which was blocked that one time when we were exploring the city by that cop. I think. Or maybe it wasn't blocked, we just, we hadn't gone yet. Uh, this person, oh yeah, that's right, because this person healed us before, so, at the front of Route 11 is a, a nice little lady that'll heal up our Pokemon. This is a calm path, well suited to silence, and I've evolved from a swimmer, so I'm a hiker who can swim, just like me. Some Pokemon get another type by evolving. What are you hinting at? What are you hinting at? Who's gonna get, I mean, we have already seen one of those. Oh my god, it's a cool <laughs> I wasn't prepared for this. Okay. <laughs> Comatose. He's drowsing. What does that mean? Is this like the inverse of slacking? Where instead of snoozing on the second turn, he snoozes on the first? Whoa. I want to catch this guy so badly. Luckily, I'm in here with Dollars, who is uh, weak AF. So there's no chance I'm going to knock this thing out. Another spinner. This is awesome. Yes! So we catch Kamala. Oh, this is cute. If this thing has an evolutionary chain, and I'm sure it does, because this looks like a little baby Pokemon. Like, it'll evolve three times. He's holding on to... <laughs> Look at him, he's so cute. Really? He doesn't evolve? Oh, he's so cute. I thought for sure he would evolve into something, like, scary and... But that's great. Another rapid spinner in the game. The log it holds was given to it by its parents at birth. It has also been known to cling to the arm of a friendly trainer. Well, super cute. Super cute. We're going to give him a nickname. Yeah. He's just he's a little sleepy guy. He's just going to be a little sleepy. So in that battle, we discovered uh, that comatose means you can't be put to sleep. I tried putting him to sleep with, um, with Lil P. And he's having none of that. None of ya business. So, Conspicuous Rock, Double Trainers. So we got a double battle here. Uh, in that last battle, my 
Meowth fainted. It's really hard for me to weaken Pokemon without killing them right now. I'm most I mean, maybe it's not. Maybe that Pokemon could have taken a, a beating, but I'm so scared of doing it that I only use like the ultimate weak attacks, and I don't know who on my team can learn False Swipe. Probably the Meowth can, but I'm not sure that any other Welp. Um that battle went weirdly Ooh, nice! Okay. So Seabad's gets actually evolving now. So we already know what this Pokemon's gonna be. Uh it's the Mudsdale or something. Dirtsdale. <laughs> soil Soil horse. Dang, it is Mudsdale. Looks really cool. Um but I think it might be time to drop it from the drop it from the team. Well, there's nothing at the moment that I'm waiting on evolving, I don't think. But I don't like it as much as some of the other Pokémon. So the only reason I'm having it in my team is because it's new. I should put something else that's new and fully evolved that I like more. Like Robombi. I miss Robombi. I miss like my Robombi. I'm actually going to run back to town. And heal up real quick, because a lot of my Pokemon are either burned or fainted. Why am I running back to town? There's a person right at the front of this zone who heals. I know this. I know this for a fact. She's healed me twice when my Pokemon are already at full health. So, uh, we're going to keep exploring this zone. Uh, we can explore the grass a little more. Um, let's make a run through the... Ooh, a TM. Gyro Ball. Not bad competitively viable. Ooh, an item there. Tiny little mushroom. Sometimes I'm like, I feel like I'm hearing noises and I'm not sure if it, it means something. If it's telling me that there's a Pokemon around or or what have you. We have an Ariados. That's, that's alright. That's fine. I haven't caught one yet. And a critical capture on it. That was unnecessary, but why not? <laughs> I'll take that. So, Ariados gets added to the decks. Um, we haven't we haven't caught it yet, but it is an old Pokemon. Oh, nice! And Meowth's finally evolving. So, looks like we do get to complete that quest. There we go. Look at that cute little Persian. So, evolves at level what? That was 23? Did I really evolve that at 23? I'm, I'm getting the feeling that... Probably there's something else here. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he looks so weird though. So weird, wants to learn Swift. Uh, no, why did I click you? <laughs> Such a horrible move pool on this thing. No, we're not going to learn Swift. What a waste of time. Look at that big face. The the Alolan versions of those two really early starters are just... Their faces are so curious to me. Not giving him a nickname, sending him to the box. Uh, we're going to go actually back and turn in this quest to, to Professor Oak. We've arrived at the library. We're going to run... Uh, I think he's back in the corner here. And show him our hard work. Aha! That's an Alolan Persian, alright. I've heard that having a round face can be considered quite cute here in Alola. That's kind of what I was hinting at a second ago. Because the uh, the Raticate is big and fat and fluffy. So, uh, maybe that's it. And since Persians are so smart, even before they evolve, it may be that they can use the extra energy born during evolution to instead help strengthen and bulk up their bodies. How fascinating and alluring. And since the regional variant Persian evolves only with high friendship. Okay. That explains it. 23 is such a weird level to evolve. I know what kind of wonderful trainer you must be, my young friend. Thank you, Geo. Let me give you this. A love ball. Oh, that cousin of mine in Kanto. He and I look remarkably alike, or so everyone always says. He's Samuel Oak, though. He actually is the one who gave me this Kanto region Pokedex that I carry around with me now for comparison as I look into things here in Alola. Sam has a grandson, in fact, who is a pretty astounding trainer himself. Boy's name is Blue. 
I actually sent him some Z crystals as well, so who knows? Maybe he'll come visit Alola too someday. Oh my gee, that's either... I hope we either see him or there's like a DLC. That would be amazing. Let me ask you guys this. How are you guys... Uh... I'm hearing noise from right outside my room. Someone taking out the garbage, perhaps. Or bringing in the garbage? What day is today? Monday. I know that. See, there's something? You said leftover? No, see, there's leaves. I heard that in the Kalos region, there are Pokemon with those leaves in their mouths. A little kid here, doing a little karate. Me and Stuffle ain't messing around. Does he have a Stuffle? Is that the only Pokemon he has? Is it a Stuffle? Yeah, it's a Stuffle. So his little baby Stuffle goes down. Uh, probably would be a good idea for me to get this Persian off my team. And so, in lieu of running all the way back and just switching him out, I'm going to look for a Pokemon I want to take his place, because there might be new Pokemon in here. I got a Wild Raticate. It's not that new. Caught the Raticate too, so we're moving forward with completing this Dex. Uh, but doing so in a manner... That's a little less than I, I would have liked. I would have liked to have more of these Pokemon be Gen 7 Pokemon, not just Alolan version. I like the Alolan idea. I think it's really interesting. They could they could do a lot with it, but so far, there's that Raichu, that Psychic Raichu, and then just two really crappy starter Pokemon that are now dark type and I I, I, I don't know it's, it's cool. oh I guess there's the uh, the Diglett with the hair that's kind of cool <laughs> I did like that one um, I don't like my team right now I don't like what's going on okay so um, seeing some stuff did I ever search this rock no not you so conspicuous all right we're gonna keep moving down trainer tip some Z moves will increase your Pokemon's stats as long as it's enveloped in the Z power. Yeah, uh, I saw that a little... They have like Z Leer, just like Z versions of other moves. So Leer would like lower their defense and also increase your attack. So could be cool to see what it does with something like a Swords Dance. Could be cool. Could be VC, very cool. This guy's got a Hariyama. Hariyama goes down. Um, God, I really need to get rid of, <laughs> really need to get rid of that cat. Or a panther. No, it's a, it's a cat. It's a Persian cat. So, let's move, um, McBro up there. McBro, you have an amulet coin. Quick ball. I see a green shiny thing over there. Another core. Or a cube. Or strange creature. Or whatever they... Whatever. And a person. Who you? Greetings, trial goer. Let me check your collection of Z crystals. Oh, it's, it's gating me so that I can't go farther unless I've got enough. Blinding yellow electronium. Uh, a ghost type trial. Okay. That girl that was hanging out with Lily seemed kind of ghostly. Maybe she's the captain. If we go through the captain's barricade, we can finally get into Route 12. Let's do it. Let's move on to Route 12, and maybe we can make this a two-route kind of episode. Island Challenge Marker. Pressing the Y button while checking out your Pokemon summary page, you'll be able to see how its base stat points are distributed in the graph that appears. Bit of advice that comes directly from your own Captain Sophocles. Now, do they really mean base stats, or do they mean what your actual stats are? On the summary page. Hmm. I mean, they don't really show numbers. I'm assuming the blue is Eevees or something. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, that's not very, that's not really very helpful. It kind of shows generally where they go, but does this say a rough to a wild, rough, and rocky road? Some people like that type of ice cream a lot. Hapu, greetings, Geo. I know you're a captain, but 
Well met. I was seeking you. If you are going to travel about Ula Ula, you ought to do it while astride the Mudsdale. There's no call for hesitation. Consider it my thanks. Oh, cool. A new ride pager. I think we knew that that was going to happen from earlier we were in... I went to the the mall in uh, Haoli City, and I think they, they talked about writer pagers there. Uh, so, no means was I waiting for a time when you were in trouble. Nee hee hee hee. Alright, talk a little less, Hapu. Go straight on through to Tapu Village. I'll be cheering you on your island challenge. Thank you, Hapu. I wonder if the league is just going to be like every trainer I've ever seen. Gotta admit it, friend, I do love a good Mudsdale. It's just so strong and sturdy, yeah? Mudsdale Gallop. Uh, where do we learn? Um, let's make it down, I guess. No reason not to. So when I hold B, it runs like as fast as the other mounts do when they're not. Oh, I see. It's just impassable rocks. Mudsdale Gallop will get you right through. If you hope to battle me, beat every other trainer on Route 12 first. So, beginning of Route 12, Master Trainer. Clompity Clompity. No other way to get through that. Oh, good. A, gr a burn heal and down below me is a green shiny thing. Let's have a little foray into the grass and see what Route 12 has to offer. Ooh, a Torkoal! I love Torkoal. Okay. Caught a Torkoal, which is very cool. Again, not a new Pokemon. Not a Pokemon we've never seen before in previous generations, but a very cool Pokemon, and it's contributing to the completion of the decks. So... Very useful still. Um, looking at the kind of like wilted grass up here and the, the fact that we're kind of like heading up a rough mountainy road, we might be able to expect to see a few more fire Pokemon up here. Maybe we'll get a second chance at catching a... Uh... Ooh, and a Lolan Geodude. I never... I forgot about this one. We've actually seen this before, just not caught it. Um, but we don't know what it's... We don't know what its other uh, moves are. Or uh, what its other typing is, I should say. A better way to say that. I'm worried that I'll kill it with like anything I do. If it's part steel, double kick will just murder it. But I'm going to go for it anyway. Looks like that's okay. It lays the smack down, which I resist. Uh, and now we can just throw a Pokeball at it. So we finally catch the Geodude, and now we get to see what typing it is. Uh, it's Rock Electric. What? So there's little, there's like conductors on its head. That is amazing. Rock Electric. Wow, I love it. I love it. That's that's so great. Uh, again, not gonna use it. You know what? That was really dumb of me. I am going to use it. Uh, I'm going to get off this Mudsdale and see what's going on over here. Um, ah, shoot. A trainer. We got like a little maze going on here. This could be a fun little place. I'm going to want to explore this a little more closely with a Repel in action. Tortuga. This is the pre-evolution of... Uh, Tortuga becomes... Oh, man. Tortuga goes down. I cannot remember his evolution, and it's bothering me. 
Tertu, he's one of the Shell Smashers. I don't remember what his name is though. Um, but I need to I need to fly back because I'm kind of wasting this opportunity to do something very big. Can I actually fly here? If I can I fly back here if I wanted to though? Uh, I don't think I can. I'm gonna have to run all the way through. Well, I'll cut that from you. I'll cut that for you guys so you don't have to watch that. But I really. Why can I not remember this? I didn't use. I didn't really use the the Pokemon that he evolved in too much. But um, I was about to say Tortuga, but that's stupid. That's way too similar in name, and I, I just don't think it. Caracosta. It's he evolved Tortuga into Caracosta. Caracosta, the shell smashing rock water type. Caracosta. Okay. I. <laughs> Oh my god, my heart. Because I know the rest of you are like yelling at your screen because you for sure knew this. Um, okay, let's... Uh, let me mess around in my box for a little bit and then when I'm done, I will cut back in. We've returned to Route 12, guys. Uh, we made a couple of changes to the team. We brought in one of the Morlul. The Morlul evolves into that Pokemon that we saw in Lush Jungle, the really big mushroom one. Ah, oh, we got two Team Thugs here, it looks like. A weak trainer blames losses on his or her Pokemon. The weather in Alola is too nice, so why do I want to get rowdy, right? Hmm. Um, and then the Geodude, just because I want to see what the Alolan forms look like. And there's, I got rid of a couple of the Pokemon that I didn't feel like I needed. The, uh, the Mudsdale. And um, the Persian. I didn't need those anymore. Bringing McBro and Nips into the equation. Excellent, excellent. Moving on. Zygarde Q over here. Uh, I was thinking about popping a Repel here. Uh, so I will. Super Repel. Just to kind of speed things along a little bit here. Uh, we can kind of run through this narrow hallway. See an item over here. It's an elixir. Is there an item under it? No. Sometimes there is. You'd be surprised. Things like that. We got trainer tips. If you use island scan, you can sometimes find Pokemon that you don't usually meet in Alola. Rumors say that the Pokemon you meet might meet this way will vary by island and by day. Very cool. Very cool indeed. So the island scan is the, the QR feature, which I was playing around with um, off screen like a, a long time ago, actually. But what it does is you scan QR codes, um, which you can get made for Pokemon that you have. And then when you get 10, you get an island scan. So I should, uh, I should look into that. Playing around with QR codes and scanning my Pokemon or something like that. Cranidos drops hard. So that's the pre-evolution of Rampardos. McBro still putting in the work with the old 1-2. Got an item over here. It's a Hyper Potion. And I think that's probably everything on this area. Is that the doubles battle that I did? Yes. So, should be nearing the end of the zone. Repellent's effect. Yeah, let's, let's keep that going. Ah, uh, we got a trainer here. Running circles around this rock. He likes moves with high accuracy and high power. Like Earthquake. Or Return. Water Spout. Ooh, he's got a Porygon. Nice. Porygon's so cool, the way he's like a little created by humans Pokemon. I love it. He's so cute. So we take down the scientist, and uh, luckily, Geodude's already ready to evolve into a Graveler. So I should be able to quickly hop onto the GTS, and I'm sure there's someone who wants to trade a Graveler for a Graveler. And that would immediately net me an Alolan Golem. Rock Electric. I can't get over that. That's so cool. 
I don't think it'll make Golem a whole lot better in usage, but it's still, ah, it's just so cool. Still rock electric. Let's hop on the GTS right now. So we were able to quickly find another Graveler. Uh, that was not difficult at all. And this will immediately prompt us to get the Alolan Golem. So let's have a look at what this bad boy looks like. I'm hoping like a lot of electrical sparkles. I saw some gold coming out there from behind his, uh, maybe it's not gold. Maybe it's something with better electroconductivity. Ah, look at him. <laughs> He's got a beard. <laughs> He's got a beard. He kind of looks like a plug, uh, like for an outlet. Oh my word. His stubbly little arms. So cute. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> Let's make sure he's still uh, electric type. I'm sure he is. Rock electric. I really like that. Yeah, still rock electric. Very cool. So, thanks to the GTS for that one. That was really useful. Uh, and now we can quit out. All right, back to our quest to fully explore this zone, which is huge, by the way. Uh, this is an exit. Is this, where is this taking us? Route 13. I don't want to do this yet. I don't want to do Route 13 yet. I want to finish up Route 12. I want to go back and end the episode killing the, uh, the big guy. Yeah, there was a conspicuous rock, so there's a PP up by that. That's not surprising at all. A little beach. A little beachy area. This is the secluded shore. We can do that in another episode too. We gotta finish up this zone. If we finished up battling all these trainers, then um, then we can go back to the front. That's the guy we battled earlier. And looks okay. Looks okay to me. I think we've done everything here. Let's go finish up this route. Yes. Ah, oh, come on. Why do they have to make him so slow? You, Master Trainer. Let's do it. The devastating power of his Z move. What type you got? He's got two Pokemon. Both in Premier Balls. Ladian? Bug or Flying type Z move? All right, boss battle. Let's get this going. Bug flying. This guy's uh, kind of McBro's worst nightmare, actually. But I think two dizzy punches still ought to do the trick. Ooh, reflect. Oh. Ooh, I got a confuse. That's lucky. So I might have. A, I might still have a chance here. I'm gonna try setting up on him. Even though I'm kind of weakened. Silver Wind. Good. Very weak. Might be enough to make Dizzy Punch kill him. If not, I'll finish him off with a Power Punch right after. As long as he doesn't get his stats boosted from that Silver Wind. Oh, he got a crit on me. Oh, and that didn't do the trick. I don't want McRow to go down. I can't switch in Nips. That'll hit him super effective. Bugnitude. Golem could take it. Morlull is too weak still. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go Bugnitude. Still haven't evolved Bugnitude yet. Well, he's getting pretty up there, so I'm fairly confident at this point that there's something going on like he it couldn't be happiness because at level 37 he would have been max happiness already it's got to be well what else could it be it would have been a lightning stone if he's going to evolve like that he could be a traded evolution i don't know that that's not the case but i guess i'm kind of hoping it's not What else could it be? Uh, some of the evolutions evolve based on night and day. It can be based on location that you evolve them. 
Oh, we got a Z move. Bug type. Ah, uh, savage spin out. Oh my word. Wow. That's really cool, actually. I live on four, so take that, pincer. I probably won't kill him, though. Oh, but I got a para. Not bad. Is there anything I can do to hit him harder? Oh, yeah, acrobatics. Now that I'm faster than him, thanks to the para, this should take him out. Boom. Take that. McBro, such a beast, though. Not bad. Golem leveling up, more low leveling up, wants to learn ingrain. I'm gonna not do that. And that's it. So uh, that's gonna be where we end episode 30. Sorry if this was a long episode, guys. I've got a lot of editing to do on this one. Uh, there was a lot of battles in between, a lot of little time consuming moments. I didn't wanna. Oh, psych up. That's a nice TM. Uh, but. Check back in in episode 31 will be once I'm done editing that so much editing in that last episode. But once we're done editing the, the last episode, uh, we'll get started on episode 31 and we'll head down to that secluded shore and head through route. Uh, is it 12? Am I on 11 now? No, it was on 11. Now I'm on 12. So that'll be 13. And then we'll uh, maybe hopefully get to a captain battle or a trial battle or something like that. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys next time.